Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for June 14th through June 20th. So guys, I hope everybody is uh, safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Taurus, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Taurus, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, love messages, clarity and guidance for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, love messages, clarity and guidance for my Taurus, please. Holy Spirit. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage jewelry. It is a lot of fun. So, um, Oh, and I also give away crystals and NIV version Bibles, the large print. They're really amazing for Bible study. So again, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? Um, how to enter the giveaway is listed in the description box below, okay? Along with my uh, new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, and my... Um, my Instagram and timeless collective readings. Okay. So my loves, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message Taurus. Okay. So I feel like it's going to hit you here. Um, now this can be, you know, your, what you're going through or what your person's going through. So take it as it resonates. Okay. So it's going to hit someone here that somebody here is just all talk, no show. Okay. Someone here is manipulating a situation. So I feel that somebody is going to be moving on because they're starting to realize that one person is not solid. They haven't made a solid decision that you are the one. This person may have kept their options open and you didn't realize that. Okay. So you're over here totally invested in the connection and you know, they're keeping their options open or they were seeing someone else. And this is just going to rock the entire foundation of this connection. Um, Somebody here is walking away. They're no longer putting any work, time, energy into this connection. And I feel that the person that didn't commit when they should have is really, 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 really going to feel it. You know why? Because they're, okay, how can I put it? They're not used to you going quiet on them. Okay. Maybe, you know, you fight with them. You get jealous. You get upset. This time it's different. You just left the building. Okay. You know, like that meme where they say, you know, uh, if she, if she fights, then she still loves you. But when she goes quiet, it's dangerous, right? You know, it's that type of concept. Someone here cannot get through to you. You have your walls up, you're totally withdrawn and you're fine. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, I am getting an energy of you are completely good all by yourself. You do not need anybody. Now guys, this can be vice versa. Okay. It can be vice versa, but whoever here is walking away, um, they're good all on their own. This person doesn't, they're very independent. They don't need anybody. And the person here who messed up is going to truly and really regret what they're doing because they cannot get through to you this time. Okay. You are totally, you have totally cut them out and they cannot get through to you. So we've got the King of Swords here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So we could be dealing with an air sign, or this could just be an, an energy of um, you know, the King of Swords is very strategic, very intelligent. So someone here may just be, um, you know, using their head instead of their heart, waking up, making smart moves, you know, someone here just, you know, got woke, basically, you know, someone here like caught on to what was happening. Someone here caught on to the manipulation or maybe found out a lie. We have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yes. I don't know. Let's see here. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Taurus, please? Yeah, hostilities. Okay. With that King of Swords, hostility, separation, something's about to go down. Something is about to go down here. Someone is going to find out um, something here, obviously, or... Yes, it's, it's not going to be good. <laughs> hostility, that King of Swords, someone here, it's not going to be good. 
and we've got milestone. Okay. So if somebody here, all right, how can I put this? So if somebody here was looking for something or felt that they were being taken advantage of, um, they may have gotten a message from a third party or found a message, found some type of news, found something out, okay? And with milestone for them, this is like perfect. Now I have a reason to leave because I had a feeling that something was off right? So this person, it's, it's like, this is like the world card for me done. It's over. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've, I've hit that, you know, I've taken all I can take or, you know, I, I succeeded in finding out what I needed to find out fight it's done. I'm out the door. Okay. So here we have the four of swords and the six of pentacles. Someone here is tired up to death of the imbalance in this connection. They are just so tired and so sick of it. They're just tired. Okay. Two of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Yeah. Someone here is tired of the juggling. Okay. Someone here may have been holding back from truly giving to a connection because there was another person in the picture. They may have been juggling um, with the knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the high priestess. What's happening here? Someone was taking too long to commit. They were taking too long to be solid. And I feel like someone's intuition started popping off that there was some secrets that there was something going on there had to be a reason for this happening and with the five of pentacles and the three of swords oh yes there was <laughs> you know so i feel like somebody here may have found out about a third party somebody said they found out something that totally broke their heart and with that five of pentacles somebody here just ghosted like they just went ghost they're like, done we are done peace hell to the nay nay i am out Okay, so we have here the judgment card and the ten of wands. Okay, I feel like this person wants a second chance badly, but they're about to give up because they just can't, they can't get through. Like you, you blocked this person on every, everything. Okay, on everything with the ace of swords and the queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I feel like this person is now awakening to the fact that they should have gotten their life together and committed. Okay, or they're realizing here maybe that, you know, because that's you, Taurus energy, that you found out the truth. And now that you know the truth with the two of swords and the seven of wands, you are not letting them in. See, look, they're totally blocked out. No, 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 and no. And there's another no. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You're just not answering this person at all. Like, you are not talking to them, okay? I mean, literally, you're like, no, I don't want to hear anything you got to say. Go tell it to those three bit over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're giving me this cup. Fantastic. What about these? Look at the three cups here, three cups here. What about, what about those three over there? You know, you don't want to talk to them anymore? Now you want to come talk to me? No, we're good. Thank you. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody here found out something and I feel strongly that it was, you know, someone here keeping their options open. Okay. Someone here wants to reconcile now and you're just not hearing it. You're just not, not even remotely interested. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Let's see here. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Taurus today, please? What clarity can we bring to my Taurus? Tell me about this Four of Swords, please, Spirit. Four of Swords. So we have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. So guys, listen, I mean, you just don't need it in your life. You see what I'm saying? You're tired. You're an empress. You're not going to deal with this. I mean, you're just not going to, you're not going to deal with it. You don't deal with being put in competition. If you don't know my worth by now, then we're good. Tell me about the six of pentacles. You're giving like an empress gifts to this connection. And this person, I mean, they're coming, you're an empress to a knight of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? You're giving all 10 of your cups here. And on top of the six of pentacles, you know, they're giving two pentacles here. Like, what are they giving? You know what I'm saying? Two of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Yeah, this person is stalling. They're procrastinating when it comes down to giving to this connection. Piscean Energy, Four of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. See, you're waking up to the fact that this person is holding back, okay? And now you're becoming defensive. Now you're like, you know what I'm saying? Where's where's mine? What, what's in this for me? So we've got the, the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor here, Aries, Taurus, Energy. So what this tells me is that this person is capable of being an emperor they are they have what it takes to be an emperor so we've got the emperor to the empress here but the problem is with that knight of pentacles they're coming in as a knight of pentacles taking their sweet time tell me about the high priestess here the high priestess again high priestess on top of the high priestess this person had secrets okay big time and i feel like those secrets came to light tell me about this high priestess 
Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ooh, that's painful. Yeah, somebody's intuition started popping off, and I feel like somebody here found out secrets, and that was it. Ten of Swords, we're done. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So, guys, here's the Queen of Pentacles again. So, this Queen of Pentacles could represent you, that you're leaving this behind, that you found out the truth, but this may also be the third party. It could be another Earth sign, possibly. The Six of Wands. No, I feel like it's you, honestly. The Queen of Pentacles, I feel like it's you. I feel like you had victory in finding out what you needed to find out. That's that milestone. That Six of Wands, it's a card of victory. That's that milestone. You you knew something was up. We have the High Priestess on top of the High Priestess, clarified by the High Priest. Your intuition was popping, man. Okay, it was popping. And you found out what you needed to find out. Tell me about the Three of Swords. The Two of Cups. This person was in a whole nother relationship. This person may have been in a whole nother relationship. And with that Four of Cups, that might be why you were so unhappy. You weren't feeling fulfilled. Tell me about this Judgment card. We've got the Moon. Hi. Cancer Piscean energy. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile, but I feel like you think it's an illusion. It probably is. Tell me about the moon. We've got the death card, Scorpionic energy. Yeah, this person is coming in wanting a second chance, saying that they've changed. But with that moon card, I feel like it's an illusion. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't trust this person. Ten of Wands with the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This person is trying so hard to communicate. They're trying to apologize, but you're not letting it through. You are not letting it through. See, two of swords. You're not letting the messages through. Tell me about the ace of swords. I know the truth now and I am out. Six of swords. I'm done. Six of swords. I'm leaving this toxicity behind. Moving towards more peaceful waters. Queen of pentacles. The ace of pentacles. There you are starting a new beginning. You're off. You're done. Two of swords. We've got the three of cups. You're cutting this out because you do not need to be in a third party situation seven of wands the ace of swords no matter what this person says you know the truth and you're not going to let them tell you any different three of cups to the five of pentacles you are abandoning this third party situation four of cups temperance sagittarian energy you are not listening to anything this person says you are going off you are healing yourself um, yeah, because with the Three of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Fool, I feel here that it hurts. It hurts to realize that this person was looking for other people. It hurts to realize that you weren't enough. It hurts to realize that this person was non-committal, irresponsible, not being honest. It hurts, okay? So you're focusing on yourself and your own self-healing right now. Um, yeah, what's crossing the situation is that we have two, two women here, or two men. We've got you know, the queen of wands here, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the re representation of the other woman. And you're coming in here as this energy, queen of swords. Now, you know, and you're very guarded. You're not dealing with it. You know about the other woman or the other man. Okay. Period. So we've got the page of cups here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and and we have the death card. Yeah. See, we've got the death card right here. This person is coming in saying that they've changed. They're coming and trying to apologize, saying that they've changed, and I don't think you're buying it. Tell me about the death card. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they're saying that they've changed. They want to give you this Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands. They're going to chase you. There's going to be a lot of communication coming in that they want to marry you, that they want to settle down. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. The Justice card. This person is ready to go to the court courthouse right now. Libra energy. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. The Lover's card. Yeah, Gemini energy. This person is saying that they've made a final decision with that Two of Wands under the deck. Yeah, they, they're fighting for you. They're fighting for you, Taurus. If they got to marry you right now today, you, they, they will meet you at the courthouse to marry you. Let me just put it to you that way. This person is saying that they really want you back, that they've changed. So it's up to you. It's totally up to you as to, um, and that could be milestone too. There's going to, you're going to fight, you're going to leave, and they're going to come back wanting marriage. They're going to come back. They'll do anything to keep you. They will do anything to, to, to fix this. <clears throat> I mean, anything. They will do anything to fix this. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking for an emperor here, not for all this mess. All right, guys. So it's up to you. You know, if you want to reconcile, this person is really coming in um, wanting to commit. Okay. They are coming in wanting to commit. I just want to clarify this moon card a little bit more because that's the only card that makes me feel like you shouldn't trust this person. Tell 
tell me about this moon card, please. The strength card. And the sun, Leo energy. Okay, so I feel like this person um, has quite possibly changed because with the strength card, I feel like they're going to be pulling away from anything that they were going to keep, they were keeping as a secret. So if you had this queen of wands as a secret, they're pulling away from that. You know, what was done in the dark is now coming to light and now they, they've changed. They're coming in wanting to be uh, committed. Tell me more about this judgment card. Page of Pentacles cap or the Knight of Pentacles. But really, that's the same place that they were before. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I gotta be honest. I really don't know. Because it look they're saying they're changed and everything, but still we still have here. They're still juggling and they're still the King of Pentacles. They're still the, the Knight of Pentacles. Nothing has changed. We've got the Two of Pentacles here and the Knight of Pentacles twice. I mean, nothing here has really changed. The Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups. You see, it's still about them and everything that they want. Yeah, like I'm not really seeing that anything has changed. So guys, it's up to you. You make the decision here, okay? All right, guys, I love you and take care. Bye.